Hello students, this is your history lesson. Today we are going to read about the great civilization of the Persians, chapter 8 from Understanding History for Class 6. Let's get started. First of all, have a look on glossary. Nomadic, living the life of a nomad, wandering, Midas, Classical mythology, a Phrygian king, son of Gordius, who was given by Dionysus the power of turning whatever he touched into gold. Benevolent, benevolent, well meaning and kindly. Monarch, a sovereign head of state, especially a king, queen, or emperor. Retain, continue to have something, keep possession of Ahura Mazda. Ahura Mazda is the supreme divinity of the Zoroastrian faith, which is called by its adherents Mazdevyasna, Mazdevyasna, Ahura Mazda is the Avastan name for an exalted divinity of ancient fort Indo-Iranian or Iranian origin. Cambyses, king of Persia. Thrace, Thrace is a geographical and historical region in southeast Europe, now spilled among Bulgaria. Greece and Turkey, which is bounded by the Balkan Mountains to the north, the Aegean Sea to the south, and the Black and the Black Sea to the east. Cuneiform script is a logo syllabic script that was used to write several languages of the ancient Near East. The script was in active use from the early Bronze Age until the beginning of the Common Era. Autobiography, an account of a person's life written by that person. Lineage, the members of a person's family who are directly related to that person and who lived a long time before him or her. Satrapies. Satraps were the governors of the provinces of the ancient Median and Achaemen Empire and in several of their successors, such as in the Sasanian Empire and the Hellenistic Empires. Darius Darius I, commonly known as Darius the Great, was the third Persian king of Kings of the Achaemen Empire, reigning from 522 BC until his death in 486 BCC. Monastery, a building or buildings occupied by a community of monks living under religious walls. Conflict, a struggle for power, property, etc. Or we can say strong disagreement between people, group, etc. that results in often angry argument. Intermittently, at irregular intervals, not continuously or steadily. Relay, relays, a relay is an electrically operated switch. It consists of a set of input terminals for a sig single or multiple control signals. Grandeur, splendor, and impressiveness, especially of appearance or style. Inscription, something inscribed, a historical, religious, or other record cut, impressed, painted, or written on stone, brick, or other 
hard surface. 4. An enemy or opponent. Famine. Extreme scarcity of food. Contaminated. Having been made impure by exposure to or addition of a poisonous or polluting substance. Zoroastrianism. Zoroastrianism is one of the world's oldest continuously practiced religious based on the teachings of the Iranian speaking prophet Zoroaster. Incorporated of a company or other organization formed into a legal corporation. Now come to page number 38 from your book. The Persians were nomadic, nomadic wandering tribesmen of Central Asia who eventually entered Western Asia and settled in the south of Iran. First, they conquered the Midas who occupied most of present-day Iran and then carved out the greatest empire of the ancient world. So, students, uh, in previous chapters, we have read about Aryans. Aryans traveled south from the steppes of the Ural Mountains. They settled in what is now southern Iran. These tribes became a people which today we call the Persians. The Persians conquered neighboring lands until they built the first major empire in recorded history. Cyrus the Great Cyrus the Great, who ruled from 559 to 529 BCE, was the architect of this empire which became famous for an advanced civilization. It included marvelous of engineering, some of which are still in use in Iran. King Cyrus was a benevolent. Benevolent we have already learned, well-meaning and kindly. Benevolent monarch, monarch, a sovereign head of state, especially a king, queen, or emperor, who worked to improve the lives of his subjects. He also let the people of the areas that he conquered retain, retain, continue to have something, or keep possession of, retain their own culture, customs, and religion. Cyrus followed the religion preached by Zoroaster, which believed in one god, Ahura Mazda. He believed that the Persian kings were representatives of Ahura Mazda on earth. By the time Cyrus was succeeded by his son, Cambyses, Cambyses. His empire extended from Egypt to the shores of the river Indus in the east. Students, from 559 to 529 BC, the Persians had a strong king called Cyrus the Great. With the help of a strong army of archers and cavalry horsemen, he founded a dynasty or line of rulers from his family called the Achmans. Each called himself King of Kings. Cyrus conquered neighboring peoples and built up the Persian civilization into a mighty empire. Although Cyrus the Great is said to have sent an expedition through the Hindu into the subcontinent which explored the area around today's Peshawar. The Persians did not conquer the region until later. Cyrus was killed in battle in 529 BC. Four years later, his son Cambyses 
defeated the Egyptians and added Egypt to the Persian Empire. Darius one five twenty two to four eighty six. The next ruler, Darius one five twenty two to four eighty six BCE, was the son in law of Cambyses. He added to his empire the regions of Punjab in India and Thrace in Europe. Darius had the history of his battles, victories, and succession inscribed in three languages in cuneiform script on a rock face in the Histron near the city of Karmansha in western Iran. The Behistron inscription begins with a brief autobiography and the ancestry and lineage of Darius I and also includes the names of 23 Strapes provinces. Strapes provinces. Surans Cambyses ruled until 522 BC when his son in law Darius took power. Darius ruled till 485 BC and called himself Darius the Great. Darius the Great enlarged the Persian Empire north into Russia and as far east as the river Indus. Part of the Indus Valley region joined the Persian Empire. Here we can get the information from the Behistun inscription written by Darius himself, which has told historians a lot about his reign. As he said, I am Darius, the great king, the king of kings, the king in Persia, the king of countries. These are the countries which came to me by the will of Ahura Mazda. I became king of them. Darius once set up an efficient government by dividing the empire into provinces or strapes, each ruled by a governor called a strap. To keep a check on this strap, a military officer was stationed in each strapy to represent the great king, king of kings. Shahanshah, special inspectors were appointed as the eyes and ears of the king. They traveled throughout the empire and reported to the king. Darius set up proper rules of government and introduced a monastery system. A new postal system was also set up which had relay stations called Chapar Kana throughout the empire. The policies of Cyrus and the administration and progress under Darius strengthened the Persian Empire. Darius I, who died in 486 BCE, had begun a conflict. Conflict, a struggle for power or property, etc. with the Greeks that continued intermittently, intermittently at Irregular intervals, not continuously or steadily. For more than 150 years after his death, until the Persians were conquered by Alexander the Great in 331 BCE. Students, here we learn a lot about Darius, the king, king of kings. Darius was a clever and successful ruler who set up good organization and an efficient system of laws throughout the empire. He ruled fairly and allowed the people to keep their own ways of life and religions. He divided the Persian Empire into about 20 provinces or satraps. 
satraps ruled by a governors called satraps the provinces had proper laws a money system and even an efficient postal service each year the provinces had to pay tribute or taxes to persia they gave gold silver slaves ivory and camels and provided ships for the navy for the navy and soldiers for the army in this way darius built up an army of 50000 men the royal road the 2500 km long royal road was built by darius one to link the satraps to his new and more central capital susa the road stretched from susa to sardes in the west it took only 15 days for relays of mounted couriers to reach the farthest corner of the empire by using this road the royal road 2500 km 1677 miles long had three relay stations relay stations had rest areas and fresh horses other smaller roads branched off the royal road the entire royal road could be traveled in 15 days by a horseman caravans took about a month to cover this distance the grandeur of the persian empire can be seen by the buildings they constructed and the city established by darius one which was called arsa in ancient persian and persepolis or city of the persians by the greeks its foundation is linked to cyrus one of its halls bore the inscription god protect this country from four from four enemies famine shortage or scarcity of food and falsehood which meant enemies hunger and lies students darius opened up land and sea routes all over his massive empire one road the royal road was more than 1500 miles long messengers on horseback could travel the length of it in 9 days fine uh, with these uh, links between all areas of the empire communication and trade became much easier darius sent officials to all parts of the empire telling them that they were to act as his eyes and ears in this way he was able to find out what was happening and keep the empire under control Darius was also interested in architecture and the Persians used different styles of buildings copying ideas from places including Mesopotamia and Egypt Darius began the great city of Persepolis in 486 BC Persepolis means the city of the Persians it had magnificent temples and a massive royal palace here a great hall had an inscription god protect this country from four famine and falsehood meanings enemies hunger and lies parpelus Persepolis was later burnt down by Alexander the Great. At the city of Susa, Darius built another palace, which was also destroyed by Alexander the Great. The Khanate system, an advanced system of carrying water, known as Khanate, 
which was developed by the Persians. These were the canals which brought water from high places to the cities and villages. They were split into smaller underground canals called kharis when they reached a city. The canals and kharis were built underground in such a way that the water could not evaporate or be contaminated. Northern Iran has canals which are 3,000 years old. The oldest are and largest canal is found in the city of Gonabad, which after 2700 years still provides water to 40,000 people. During the reign of the last of the Sassanid kings of Persia, Yazlijard III, 632 to 651, the Arabs invaded Persia and gradually replaced Zoroastrianism with Islam and incorporated Persia into the Caliphate. Students, in early times, the Persians worshipped many gods. Their priests were famous. They were called Magi from where we get the word magic. Later, the Persians became to follow a Magi called Zoroaster who lived around 600 BC. He worshipped one main god, a good power called Ahura Mazda, the creator and the lord of wisdom. Like the Aryans, Zoroastrians, Zoroastrians thought fire was scared. Zoroaster thought that Persian kings were representative on earth of Ahura Masta. So students, within the passage of time, from about 465 BC, the Persian Empire went into a decline. The economy weakened, prices rose quickly and people began to revolt and protest. In 334 BC, Darius III was defeated by a great Greek military leader, Alexander the Great. And from here, the downfall of this empire began. Now come to the questions. 1. Where did the Persians come from and where did they settle? Answer. The Persians were nomadic tribesmen of Central Asia who eventually entered Western Asia and settled in the south of Iran. Question 2. What was the religion of the ancient Persians? Answer. By 650 BCE, the Zoroastrian faith, a monotheistic religion founded on the ideas of the philosopher Zoroaster had become the official religion of ancient Persia. Later, Judaism and then Christianity came to Persia via Mesopotamia with both developing vibrant faith communities in Persian lands. Question 3. What is Sarras the Great famous for? Answer. Sarras the Great, who ruled from 529 to 559 BCE, was the architect of this empire, which became famous for an advanced civilization. It included marvels of engineering, some of which are still in use in Iran. 4. Where were the Persians able to make a great empire? Answer. At its height under Darius the Great, the Persian Empire stretched from Europe's Balkan Peninsula in parts of what is present day Bulgaria, Romania, and Ukraine to the Indus River Valley in northwest India and south to Egypt. 5. Why is Darius I an important ruler of Persia? Answer. Darius I set up an efficient government by dividing the empire into provinces or 
satrapies, each ruled by a governor called a strap, to keep a check on special inspectors were appointed as the key eyes and ears of the king. They traveled throughout the empire and reported to the king. Darius set up proper rules of government and introduced a monetary system. 6. What is the Behistun inscription? Answer. The Behistun inscription is a multilingual inscription and a large rock relief on a cliff at Mount Behistun in the Karaman Shah province of Iran. Karman Shah province of Iran. The Behistun inscription has three versions of the same text written in Old Persia, Elamite, and Babylonian, a late form of Ocrian. 7. Why was the Persian Empire so advanced? Answer. The Persians were the first people to establish regular routes of communication between three countries. Africa, Asia, and Europe. They built many new roads and developed the world's first postal service. The policies of Cyrus and the administration and progress under Darius strengthened the Persian Empire. 8. Explain how the Kanat system worked. Where is the oldest Kanat? found in Iran and what is special about it? Answer. Kana were the canals which brought water from high places to the cities and villages. They were split into smaller underground canals called Kares when they reached a city. The Kana and Kares were built underground in such a way that the water could not evaporate or be contaminated. Northern Iran has canals which are 3,000 years old. The oldest and largest canal is found in the city of Gonabad, which after 2,700 years still provides water to 40,000 people. 9. List the main features of the Royal Road. Answer. The main features of the Royal Road are given below. It's 2500 km, 1677 miles long, had three relay stations. Relay stations had rest areas and fresh horses. Other smaller roads branched off the Royal Road. The entire Royal Road could be traveled in 15 days by a horseman. Caravans took about a month to cover this distance. 10. Why do you think the Persian Empire came to an end? Answer. During the reign of the last of the Sassanid king, kings of Persia, Yazlijar III, 632 to 651, the Arabs invaded Persia and gradually replaced Zoroastrianism with Islam and incorporated Persia into the Caliphate. Thanks for listening. For new videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you like my videos, please share and like.